AEW are set to announce the signing of one of the best wrestlers in the world. Announcement, Tony Khan is back again. And this time, he surely cannot disappoint. Who is it going to be? Let's get into it. CEO Tony Khan takes to his favorite platform in the world, X, formerly known as Twitter. And he puts out the tweet and I quote, AEW has agreed to terms with one of the world's best wrestlers, a pro who is known and respected by virtually every AEW fan. They'll come to LA to sign their contract this Saturday on pay-per-view at AEW Full Gear. This tweet has been so perfectly constructed. I can see it with every word he's put in there. He has made super sure not to reveal the gender within the tweet. I think he's even went the extra mile to say that someone that AEW fans are very familiar with and like and respect and all that other kind of stuff. Like, it's very, very calculated, this tweet. And, you know, we know I've been super vocal that when it comes to announcements, Tony Khan, <laughs> in the past, this guy, it's, it's a roller coaster. It's up and down. Some that he hasn't announced have went off like an absolute firecracker. Brilliant. Some that he has announced, it's like, bro, why did you make all the song and dance and the palaver for this person? There is a big importance in getting this person right. Whoever it is that's going to sign their AEW contract at AEW Full Gear on Saturday, it has to be right. Like, AEW are in a very sticky period. For me, they are still a fantastic show. I love watching AEW week to week, but... Fans all over the place are, you know, they're not happy. This isn't the AEW they thought they were getting. There's obviously talks of, you know, loss of identity and things of that nature. So it's so important who this next signing is. They get it bang on. The AEW fans are as, you know, welcoming as the tweets suggest that they will be for this person. And that they just can not fudge this one like previous years. So now for the fun part. Now it's time to speculate who this person is going to be. I have six names. I have six names. Now, I will say three of these guys I'm going to discount straight away from the beginning. I've got a left field choice and I've got my two main choices. So hit the like button. Let's get into this one. Right. So the three I am discounting straight away that like I don't think it will be them. Firstly, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, I do think one day he probably turns up in AEW, you know, has a little run with his brother. But right now, it's not the right timing. Dolph Ziggler is still on his 90-day non-compete by WWE, which ends sometime in December. So it is a bit too early for that. Of course, there is always a chance that AEW and WWE have come to terms and are going to allow Dolph to appear to just sign the contract and maybe he still can't compete till December. Of course, there is always even a 1% chance that has happened. But for me, no, it is not Dolph Ziggler. The other ex-WWE guy, it could be Mustafa Ali. Now, Mustafa Ali, it is believed he was not on a 90-day non-compete. Obviously, we last saw him in NXT. And NXT, the superstars over there have 30-day non-completes after leaving WWE. So, Ali's non-compete is actually up. So, it could be Ali. However, one of the world's best... You know, some of the AEW fans are loving and welcoming. Out. Like, I don't think it would be Ali. I think it would be quite underwhelming if it was Ali. As much as you'll be like, hey, that's some stuff for Ali. Like, good for him. Like, he's landed in AEW. And again, I do believe one day he probably will land in AEW. But this big signing, tweet worthy, got the whole world talking, looking forward to the pay-per-view. I don't believe it's former star for Ali. The third name is Sammy Callahan. He is someone that has left Impact a while ago now. He's been running indies. He has his own indie federation, his own promotion. Sammy Callahan is someone that I would love to see in AEW. I think he has AEW written all over him. John Moxley has given him a big endorsement that he should turn up at AEW. Again, I think this is one that will happen. We will see this happen somewhere down the road. I guess the rumors intensify with Sammy Callahan because... Sammy Callahan is actually running a show for his promotion in LA this weekend as well. So he's going to be in the area. But, you know, we say that as if planes aren't a regular commodity these days. Anyone can jump on a plane to LA. It's not a big thing. So 
I don't think he's going to be Sammy Callahan on this occasion, but he is someone that probably will turn up in AEW fairly soon. Right, now into the realm of who I really do think it could be. And I'm going to start with my left field choice, Katsuhiko Nakajima. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know loads of him. I've watched loads of him in Noah and stuff. I don't watch Noah, but I have always tuned in for Nakajima matches because whether people like it or not, he's one of the greatest wrestlers wrestling today. Nakajima is so, so good. He's currently All Japan Triple Crown Champion. He has previously been a two-time GHC, that is the NOAA World Heavyweight Champion. He is so, so good. And he is currently a free agent after leaving NOAA. You know, he, I think he left NOAA back in September or so. So he's currently a free agent. The AEW, or should I say more of the, the diehards, the marks, they will know of Nakajima. So this is someone that is a bit left field. The world may not, you know, know of him on that scale. But when you talk about AEW fans, you know, people that are a bit more invested in the product, people that aren't really casuals like that, they would know of Nakajima. And this could be a really big signing for AEW, especially, you know, ripping him away from other companies. And there has been talks that, you know, when he became available that he would love to go to America, AEW would be open for this. So it could be Nakajima. It really could be, and that would be really exciting, especially from a, a performance and matches point of view, the amount of great matches he could put on in AEW with the talent they have there. I don't mind it being Nakajima, I can't lie. That would be really, really fun. We're down to the last two of who everyone is naming, and I'm going to start with Mercedes Monet. Like, she is the true, true free agent, biggest free agent in the market right now. Yes, she may have some dates or arrangements with Bushi Road, New Japan, but you know, they are already in bed with AEW. So she only has like, you know, appearance dates for these guys. Like she's not signed to New Japan, so they could always work something out. She recently came out and, you know, said that she's looking forward to getting back into wrestling, especially within 2024. We all know we saw her at AEW All In. They put her on the bloody screen. Like, she was there, live in the flesh. Like, it is very, very possible that Mercedes signs. And, you know, let's think about it. Like, Mercedes is one of the greatest um, wrestlers today when it comes to women's division. Just as a great wrestler, full stop, she is up there. She's big money, as the name suggests. And it could be really, really good for AEW in a period where they've lost Jade. Things aren't going too great in terms of, you know, the booking of the show, the general perception of AEW right now. This could really be a strong signing to make. And um, it's very, very fun if it's Mercedes Monet. The only caveat is the women's division. And the women's division, we know, is not the best place in AEW. But it could be them signaling we're gonna do something guys like we've brought in this massive sign in now we're really gonna do something with this division and i'll be welcome to it i'll give it a chance i wouldn't want to see mercedes sign a full-time deal yet at aew that's just me i'd love her to be there on an appearance basis have some great matches and if things do pick up and the division is booked better then cool then you can sign but the evidence just isn't there for me right now for you to want to commit yourself to aew but that is a actual big free agent right now that you know aew can sign so we have to mention monet the final name that is on everyone's lips i guess the front runner for who this person could be that will sign their contract at aew full gear is will osprey it is will osprey billy goat himself someone that is synonymous already with aew fans so he checks that box that tony khan was talking about someone that is granted the best wrestler in the world today. I don't even think we can argue it for at least this year. He is the best wrestler in the world. Again, that checks that point that Tony Khan made in his tweet. Will Ospreay, he has already spoken about, you know, he's in his last year. He's in his last few months of his New Japan contract. His New Japan contract is due to expire February 2024. He's been very, very open with the fact that, you know, he will be leaving New Japan or his contract up. He's talking to all these other companies. Impact's name is in the hat. WWE's name is in the hat. Of course, AEW's name is in the hat. So this is extremely, extremely likely now of course he is not a free agent just yet and like i said earlier new japan are already in bed with aew 
as New Japan allowed AEW to do this, to basically bat off the other suitors and say, yes, he is coming to AEW. However, he still has a few months on his New Japan contract. He'll fulfill those months. And then, you know, you can see him on a full-time basis on AEW TV. That could be one thing. The second thing, has Tony Khan approached Bushiro New Japan and been like, listen, I need to buy this guy out of his contract so WWE don't even get a look in. Impact don't even get a look in when it's time when his contract is actually up. There is no conversation. Let me spend the money now, buy him out of the remainder of his contract and he becomes an AEW talent immediately. And of course, for that goodwill, maybe I'll let you guys have him, let him do Wrestle Kingdom and stuff in January. And then, you know, he's fully fledged AEW. That is a point as well. Tony Khan's got the money. He can spend big money to buy this guy out of his contract to get him on the roster just so he can't negotiate with WWE. It's very, very possible. Some may say unlikely. Yes, but possible. And of course, signing with AEW gives Will that leeway to go back and forth from Japan if he still wants to do stuff in Japan, if he wants to do stuff in England. He's got that leeway. He's obviously spoken himself about, you know, raising a family, having a young family at home and being able to go home more regularly and stuff like that. He's spoken about, you know, broken down body and, you know, he's not at where he was some years back and he's working with injuries. So, of course, the, the matches are more high octane in AEW, but with AEW, he won't be performing, you know, so often like, you know, the WWE circus, if you like, of performing so often. So, of course, that is an opportunity as well. For me, it's not the most exciting of news just because Will is very, very familiar with AEW at this point. It's like he's part of the roster already. So this just confirms it. So I'm not like super excited. I'm excited just because Will Ospreay is going to be there. But, you know, we've seen it. If you see what I mean. So it's not like pulling up trees or anything like that. But guys, those are the names, you know, like I say, some more likely than others that can sign for AEW. Let me know in the comments below who you think this person is going to be that is going to be announced by Tony Khan. And we're going to see that big revelation, them signing their AEW contract at AEW Full Gear. Like I say, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. My name's Mex. I make videos on AEW and WWE. So if that's up your street, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Hit the notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. WrestleMania QK signing out. And I'll see you soon.